Hi, I'm Robert Zubrin. I'm president of Pioneer Energy, and we're here today to introduce you to our mobile alkane gas separator. This is a machine that takes wet flare gas and separates it out into three useful products. First, the liquids, the propane, the butane, the pentane, separates them out in liquid form where they can be put in tanks and just shipped out and sold. Then there's the dry methane without any liquids in it. Okay? That can be sent to uh, field generators to replace diesel fuel that is costing operators a fortune. And finally, there's the ethane, which we use ourselves to power our machine. So this machine takes flare gas and turns it from a problem into a resource. Two useful products and completely self-contained, powering itself on the ethane, which otherwise nobody wants. So here's how it works. The wet flare gas, which is a mixture of methane, ethane, propane, and other natural gas liquids, comes in here, goes to a compressor that increases its pressure to almost 200 psi. That makes a lot of the heaviest liquids drop out along with most of the water, and that drops out here. Then the gas goes through some drying beds, which contain desiccant, and that takes the water content of the mixture down to parts per million quantities. After that, the compressed dry gas goes over here to some heat exchangers where it is cooled by our refrigerators. These refrigerators can go down to minus 80 centigrade. They take the fluid down to minus 70 centigrade. That causes all the liquids in it to drop out, even the ethane. And the, the, the two-phase mixture containing the cooled liquids and also the remaining gas uh, goes up here and then it goes over into a cyclonic separator which whirls the mixture around so the liquids drop out and the gas goes out the top. From that we get the dry natural gas, the methane, which is an ideal fuel for powering field generators replacing diesels. Then the liquids, including the ethane, propane, butane, pentane, goes over to the next column, which is a separation column, okay, where the ethane is split off and it is sent to our generator, which powers the whole system running on ethane. And then the liquids are taken out and put in tanks where they could then be loaded onto trucks and shipped out and sold. My name is Andy Young. I'm the lead controls engineer with Pioneer Energy. And an important feature of the MAG system is its supervisory control and data acquisition system. So right now, I have a live feed from a remote monitor of what's actually happening in the test yard. I have diagnostic indicators on all of the system's individual components, including the generator, the compressor, the refrigeration system, as well as the separation system, which is the core of the system. Now, what we also have available for both on-site and remote operators are diagnostic indicators on mobile devices, including the iPhone and other Android devices. This helps in a servicing scenario. And furthermore, what we have mounted on top of the trailer is a long-range data antenna, which makes available local, regional, and remote data networks. Now, this allows both local operators as well as remote engineers the ability to service and optimize the system as it's running. So, there you have it. You know, America started the oil industry, 1859. We invented it. And as late as World War II, we were producing twice as much oil as the entire rest of the world put together. That's an important reason why our side won. But then we went in decline became dependent, became vulnerable to looting by foreign cartels, ricking up oil prices and depriving us of fuel. Now we're coming back in the back and elsewhere with new methods of drilling, with fracking. We're coming back like tigers and we are about to turn the corner on this thing. And the only thing standing in our way is this flaring problem, which is threatening to stop the whole train in its tracks. This is an answer for it. With this machine, we can take the flare gas and turn it from a problem into a resource. We can take the liquid, separate them out, ship them out, and sell them. We can take the dry gas and use it to replace diesel fuel, which could be used elsewhere in our economy. And we take the ethane and use it to run the machine itself so it doesn't even depend on electricity from anyone else. So, I think this is an answer for the problem that we're all facing here. If you want to find out more, we've got a website at pioneerenergy.com.